Hey guys, I just got back from my run and I'm always asked what I eat, um, how I eat, all the things. Um, so that's what I wanna do with you right now. I'm coming back in, I'm not super hungry, but I'm also about to run out and run a bunch of errands. So I'm just gonna make a smoothie to come with me. Um, this is a gut healthy smoothie. This is, um, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do, it's a superfood smoothie. So we're gonna put, we're gonna do some things, kids. Are you guys ready? Super, super excited. So who got up? Who did their workout this morning? I'm trying out this new like gimbal thing that follows me wherever I talk. So if you're noticing that it's like going back and forth, I don't really know what's going on. I know my face is super shaded, um, but this is like impromptu and I'm, I have a lot on my to-do list today. So I, this is not my normal lighting setup. Um, so what's up guys? Who's ready to get healthy with me? Who wants to know a great smoothie re recipe that's going to hit everything from keeping you fuller longer, support with weight release, gut health, superfoods, aging backwards, high energy. This is like my jam. Um, so I always say a lot of women, the number one thing that I see, I've worked with thousands of women. Okay. So those of you that are new to me, I always forget to do this. I am a holistic nutritionist. I was a fitness competitor, fitness expert. Um, I've been in the fitness arena a long time. Um, I am a master hypnotherapist and I am a master coach specializing in the psychology of food, our bodies, self-sabotage. What is going on? Oh, I have some bone broth. Kellyanne, Dr. Kellyanne Petrucci. You guys have to check out her bone broth. This thing is following me. She is amazing. She's the creator of the bone broth diet. She was the first one to bring it to the United States. Um, I need to do a shout out. She's my girl. She's incredible. You can see her on Dr. Oz. You can see her on all the things. Her bone broth and, hold on, let me, I'm going to do one better. Hold on one sec. So, Dr. Kellyanne, she actually makes bone broth super, super easy. I just want to do this because a lot of people ask me about things for gut health, about skin, about you know, a morning drink. I always say water with lemon and then I go to the bone broth. So we just, um, she was one of our sponsors for our Awakened Woman Retreat. And um, I love these packets. Like I drink two of these a day. And honestly guys, I didn't eat meat for like 10 years. Um, uh, I'm more uh, pescatarian than anything, but I find bone broth really, really helps to round out my nutritional profiling, my energy. I noticed such a difference in my gut. Um, and in what I was feeling and I noticed that I was drinking this and, and my body was really started to crave this over coffee and you guys if you follow me you know my love of coffee I think I'm like a barista okay so um, the other thing that she has too is these lemon sips um, which are fantastic so you can get the bone broth to go you can also get it like frozen uh, you can make your own too but I just wanted to give you guys resources that are really really awesome that I use that I can stand behind and totally tell you so um, okay let's make a smoothie are you guys ready we're gonna do superfoods we're gonna get after it this is something that I have either first thing in the morning um, or I will have it as a snack or I will turn it into a meal by adding in protein and healthy fats I like a thick smoothies so the key to a thick smoothie to getting like that milkshake consistency is ice you gotta use your ice um if you're just blending everything then it's going to be more of a drink i personally like to create smoothie bowls where i'm like getting a spoon and i'm eating it so smoothie maca maca ladies all all women should be on maca balancing hormones uh your feminine health your this thing is like, where are we? It's like, follow me everywhere. Um, this is a superfood that helps with regulating your hormones. It helps giving you, um, getting your, getting your desires back on. If you've noticed your sex drive has dipped, um, you know, this also, like when I say balancing hormones, this is fantastic. Again, increasing your sex drive, helping you really nourish. I like to say the word nourish. Um, your connection to your feminine. I just, a, a lot of women are disconnected from what their body needs and especially your vagine. We're gonna say vagine here. Yes, we are. Um, I studied with, sidebar, I studied with Mama Gina, School of Womanly Arts. She's amazing, by the way, in New York City. And I was fascinated when she had us do an exercise about how many people, how many women don't actually 
reference their own they call it like private parts or like down there and everybody i think we came up with like 200 different names that women had um that and it was all like to cover up like it was fascinating it was fascinating so i encourage you guys maca powder is fantastic um i ran out of my plant-based protein but i'm going to tell you a company that i really really love it's pe science for a good plant-based protein that tastes fantastic chocolate bliss is my jam pe science um and pe science also has whey protein i have one right here um this is chocolate chip cupcake but i can tell you for vegan proteins their vegan protein is my favorite if you do do whey i also like their whey too i personally don't um do whey and then this one i gotten from sprouts it's decent i just needed like a travel packet because i travel a lot um so i'm going to use this one today and i am going to add protein to this smoothie today because i haven't eaten yet so i generally people always ask me when i eat i listen to my body um, but I personally, um, I find that most mornings around like 11 o'clock, it depends on the workout that I did the day before. It also depends on when I finished eating the day before. If I finished my last meal at like six o'clock, then I can wake up sometimes super hungry. And um, sometimes I'll have like a handful of berries or something, but I generally don't like anything before a workout. I like to work out on an empty stomach. I get more clarity. I get a lot of intuitive guidance from that. Um, it's more of like a moving meditation for me. Um, I do my morning practice, but I also, I'm answering a lot of questions that have been coming to me that I haven't answered yet. So I'm just going to answer them now. Um, and, uh, and then I generally, and then there's some days where I just wait until I'm really hungry and you know, I'll find that when my when my metabolism is revving back up or there's a hormonal shift in my body, sometimes I, I will go through one week where I'm really not hungry for my first meal until like two o'clock. And then randomly the next week, I'm ravenous by like eight o'clock in the morning, you know, so it all depends. It also depends, you know, if you're like the 5 a.m. or club like myself. Um, okay. Now I'm going to put in um, some psyllium husk, which also it adds daily fiber. We generally don't get enough fiber. You should have 50 to 65 milligrams of fiber per day to really have a healthy gut and to help support and clearing out um, your intestinal tract. And just whole psyllium husk can do that. But I also like that it adds thickness to things. I don't go crazy with it. When you do have it, you want to drink more water. Um, cacao powder, uh, guys, cacao in your coffee. If you need, if you struggle with ADD, um, and just focus in general, adding a tablespoon of cacao to your coffee is going to give you intense focus, intense in a good way. Um, so I had to learn that because I was diagnosed late with ADD. It was like not a cool thing and like nobody had it. And my dad was like, you're not going on medication. You need to learn how to train your mind, which ended up working out well, because what do I do for a living? I help people reprogram their subconscious mind. Uh, so I'm gonna do a tablespoon. I always say this, um, I'm measuring everything. I do this a lot, but what's up guys? What's up, Linda? Oh my God, Linda's an incredible intuitive out of Scotland. I want to say Ireland. Wait. Oh my God. Why am I blanking on this? She's incredible. Do a reading with her. I have her on a resource list for my clients. Um, they always ask me who I have as resources and who I use and like what intuitives I go to and like people I follow. So I actually created a whole document for them. If you guys want that, DM me and I will send it to you. Um, but Linda's on there and I only go to top notch, like people that are vetted and trust me, I am, um, I'm a hard, I'm, I'm as an intuitive, I'm very like, yeah. So I have a very high profile for those that I would actually pay to, for their services. And she is one of them. So you can follow me on that one. Okay. Um, so uh, getting back to measuring things, I say this about measuring things, guys, because if you don't know what you're putting into your body, then you don't know what's working for you or against you. And if you don't know how much your body needs to thrive, that's a thing, especially if you want to release weight, guys. I specialize in releasing weight without dieting. 
I'm all about getting connected back to the body. I always say, if you struggle with your weight for more than a year, you don't have a weight issue. You have a lack of a relationship with yourself and you're in a relationship with food. Trust me, I was there. I had to divorce food and then we got back together for a bit. It was tumultuous. But I find that especially women, guys, food is being used for too many things, meaning it's your friend. It's there for you as an escape. It keeps you... It, it, it's been your comfort, it's been your go-to, it's a learned pattern of behavior, and it's also how you learn to soothe yourself and really how to handle your emotional life. So when you try to go on a diet, any diet will work for a short period of time, but you inevitably gain the weight back if you do not address the underlying root issue. So getting back to why, how did all of this stem from measuring cups? You wanna know, you wanna love your body, you wanna understand your body. You want to understand like, oh, wow, like my body said to me, take dairy out. I struggled with asthma for like used to be hospitalized for it. I took dairy out. I used to carry around three inhalers all through high school and college. I had a buterol. I had everything on hand. I didn't know anything about food. I didn't know yet that food was medicine and it can either, you know, be poison or it's going to be your miracle drug, right? Um, and I took dairy out. I've never carried an inhaler since. I don't get sick. I don't have allergies, like nothing. And yeah, so you wanna understand your body will guide you is my point, okay? But you wanna know what you're putting into your body. So a lot of times people are like, well, I don't know. And like, I don't really have a lot of dairy. And then when we actually work together, they're like, oh, <laughs> I have dairy a lot all day long. I put it in my coffee, I have a yogurt here, I have cream sauces on this, there's butter in that, right? So once you start to understand that, you're like, oh, now I'm super bloated, now I know why, right? So these things matter. So right now, what we have in here, we have um, vegan protein powder, um, psyllium husk, maca powder, and cacao. I didn't put the maca in though. <laughs> That's what happens when you're on video. So there's a little scooper. Um, I, I'm like, the more maca, the better. Maca me up. Get those hormones regulated. Get, get me all juicy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then flaxseed, ladies. Flaxseed, flaxseed for, um, oh my gosh. Flaxseed is such a good healthy fat to have. It's great for fertility. Again, it's great for your hormones. It's great for your omega-3, 6, 9s. It is fantastic. Um, so I'm just going to go in here and it's got this great nutty flavor. I love to put it on, um, you know, if you do, again, I'll do like oat milk yogurt occasionally or coconut milk yogurt or things of that nature. Um, and then the other thing that I'm going to tell you guys that we want to add in here, are you ready? And then sometimes I even top it off with some flaxseed oil. I would say, um, and coconut oil is another great one. Um, be careful of your nut butters uh, if you have, if you're looking for anti-inflammatory. This is like an anti-inflammatory as well. This is also great for gut health. This is also great for fertility. This is all, all things female right here. You got one? I got you, girl. Okay. Um, then we've got our chlorella. Okay. I love these things and I eat them. I literally eat them like a snack. That's not for everybody. I have a very clean palate, but I've been eating clean for a long time. So that's that's my choice of diet. When people are like, what do you follow? I eat clean. I can't do all the counting of the macros and the, all the blah, blah, blah. My body doesn't need a lot of fats. Um, keto is like too much. It makes me like exhausted. Um, so I, I I love just clean eating. I need simple. I need whole. It makes sense to me. Eat foods that are whole and closest to their natural state, and that releases you from gluten, a lot of chemicals, um, uh, extra sugar, and it just simplifies everything. Just get away from things in bags and boxes. If it can live in your cabinet for multiple months in a year, then, I mean, I, to me, I don't understand how that's actually FDA approved. Um, it's like Velveeta and Crisco, like what is going on with the world? Um, okay, so chlorella. Chlorella is, chlorella and spirulina are two other amazing superfoods. So I will just take these and I'll, I mean, I chew them, but I just add a handful into my smoothie as well. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? What did I want to tell you about this? Um, they're an excellent source. This is, I'm like reading it here. Vitamin D, 
um, building immunity, helping with your cell, like your white and your red blood cells. I don't want to get like too crazy with this, but they're good for you. They give you endless energy. The more green, the better. Let's go for go for the gold. These are fantastic. I keep them around. I have them all the time. I like to give them to my nieces and nephews when they don't know what I'm giving them. And then they tell me they're yummy. And I'm like, okay, sure. Um, so, okay, we've got that. What else do I want to add in here? Um, I'm not going to do anything else at this point in time. What I am going to add in, I personally like almond breeze or silk, almond milk. And we're just going to do, I don't do a ton. I actually have found that there's no difference between having the almond milk or water. Um, what I will tell you too, though, is for thickness, do I have a bottle? I just ran out of it, but there's something, I did a TikTok on it. If you go to my TikTok, you'll see it has like a million views. Um, and like literally it has a million views. Uh, Glucocomon, G-L-U, let's see if I can spell this right. G-L-U-C-O-M-A-N-N-A-N. Glucocomanin, glucocomanin, I think is what it is. So I learned this when I was a fitness competitor and it adds, it's all natural, it's cognac fiber. And you break open the capsules and you can add them to anything and it will add this thickness um, that really, really, again, makes it like a milkshake. So it's delicious. Now, what else can you do with this? If you wanna add more healthy fat, Again, I like to put flaxseed oil on top as opposed to um, blending it so that there's higher levels of absorption. Uh, the other thing you can add, you know, another tablespoon of nut butter. I will say this, ladies, for those of you that are looking to release weight, really notice your amounts of fat. We don't need as much fat as we think we do. And I find a lot of women go, I don't understand what I'm doing. I'm eating clean. Everything's organic. But... You know, and then we break it down on like, well, what's in your smoothie? What's on your salads? And then their smoothie has like avocado, oil, nut butter, like five different sources of fat. And then I add it up and I'm like, I think you just consume like 30 grams of fat in your smoothie. Like one, that could, I mean, that makes your smoothie instead of it being a meal or a snack, it's now turned into, you know, a 1200 calorie thing, right? So I say that just because, if you're trying to release weight, we, we overestimate how much fat our bodies need. Now, everyone's body is different. It's just like I'm giving like an overall. What I find though with women is they don't have enough protein in their diet. And they also don't really know what they're putting. So they're like, no, I had a salad for lunch. And then we break it down and the salad has cheese, it has egg, it has chicken, it has avocado, it has nuts, and then it has like craisins and then you're dressing. That's all varying forms of fat. And then your craisins have like tons of sugar. And always watch when you order out, the nuts on the salad are coated with like honey and sugar and this and that, right? In a lot of places. So you just wanna be aware of what you're putting. So always ask for things on the side. Always ask for things. So I can do a whole nother video on that. I don't wanna confuse this one. I know I've given you guys a lot of information. The other thing um, that you can add up in here as well is um, blueberries. I love all berries. I love berries for aging backwards. I love berries for their antioxidant profile. I love berries because they're low in calories, low in sugar, high in fiber, and high in their antioxidant profiling, meaning they're helping you to age backwards. They're fantastic for brain health and they help with immunity. So they're these little like superpower little berries and they're fantastic and they taste great. Um, so I love to get frozen berries and add them to my smoothie as well. Again, it adds in the thickness as opposed to fresh ones. So I just buy frozen organic and that way, if you don't eat them in time, they don't go bad and you didn't waste money too. Um, so these are all things that you can add. So let's blend this puppy. <laughs> and then I actually need to get on with my Saturday. Are you guys enjoying this? Do you want more of these? Let me know. Um, and again, I will, I can tag the things in here, but let me know. We're over here. We're going to come. Is this thing going to follow me? Why isn't it following me? Did it turn off? Let's see. I have no idea. It's supposed to follow me. <laughs> it's going to be really loud if I blend this in your ear. So I'm going to go blend this. I'm going to drink this. Let me know any questions that you have. You guys are amazing. Again, the sites, the things that I cited here, we did maca, we did flaxseed, we did cacao, we did psyllium, we did um, chlorella, 
Okay. Um, and, oh, I missed a, 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 an important ingredient, stevia. I have a sweet tooth, so I like to add, sweet leaf is my favorite. It doesn't have an aftertaste. It's fully just stevia. Doesn't have added sugar, doesn't have alcohol, doesn't have anything else. Go pure, go organic. Um, that's my all natural sweetener of choice. It would be this or monk fruit or allulose. A-L-L-U-O-S-E. Um, and over anything else, uh, what else do we have here? I also mentioned PE Science, their vegan protein powder. This is the way, but PE Science is my favorite for their vegan protein. And they have great protein powders. They taste fantastic. They're clean. Um, their vegan one's definitely extremely clean and my favorite out of like everything I've tried. And I've tried them all. Um, I get some, so much stuff. And then Bone Broth, um, Dr. Kellyanne Petrucci. You guys go check her out. Her Instagram is amazing and she also sells these lemon sips that you can put in your water i love her i love all her things let me know any questions remember measure your things know what you're putting into your body take care of you and have fun being healthy have fun being in your body it feels amazing to take care of you so your goal every night is to go to bed proud to take care of you and to love you up so wake up in the morning give yourself a hug soul's recognition of its counterpart in itself, and then go and have a fantastic day. I love you guys. I'm off to have an amazing day. I'm heading to the beach. Much love.